Hello, my name is Bernhard and I am here to show you how easy it is to document your measurements with the Bode 100. We will now document the measurement results of this quartz filter which we have connected to the Bode 100. The first and easiest possibility to document a measurement curve is to right click onto the curve and use the copy function. This allows you to insert the diagram directly into any Windows application. This is a vector graphic which can be easily adjusted without losing quality. Sometimes it's necessary to also record some cursor values in addition with the curve and the equipment settings. To do so, you just right click onto the curve, use the cursor1 jump to max function to mark the resonance frequency and now by right clicking onto the screen you can use the copy with settings function. The copy with settings functions works like the copy function, but now not only the measurement curve, but also the measurement cursor value as well as the whole equipment settings are copied into your Word document. And you can edit these settings of the equipment by simply using your text editor function of Word. So for example, I can remove some digits here if I don't need the resolution. Now I'll show you how to create a print report of your measurement result. Before I do that, I will switch the curves to two diagrams. So now I have one trace in separate diagrams. And now I can use my file print preview function to check out how the print report will look like. The print report contains both curves, the measurement results as well as the equipment settings. Further on, it contains the serial number of the Bode 100 and the date and time the report was created. For numeric processing of the measurement result, you can export the entire measurement trace data to a CSV file. And then you can use Excel, MATLAB or any other program that can read CSV files to further process the measurement curves. To do so, we click on the Export Traces Data button and just store the file. After I've done that, I can now open the file and I'll use Excel. And as you can see, you will get the measurement results of for every frequency point and in addition, you will get the settings of the Bode 100 so that you know exactly what you have done and when you have done it. The best way to archive your measurement results is to use the Bode file function. Before I store my body file, I can add a comment using the comment function which has been implemented starting with the body analyzer with 2.32. So I can, for example, write in that this was a 12 megahertz quartz oscillator, a quartz filter in our case, in fact. And then I can just simply click on File and Save As give my file a name, like Quartz2 for example, and click the Save button. And now anytime, if I want to see a measurement result, I can use the File and Open function to load a file and view it, even if I have no Bode 100 connected. Thanks a lot for watching this video. More information on the Bode 100 and its cool features can be found on our webpage www.omicron-lab.com.